Welcome back, my learners. It's good to meet again. It's me, your friend, Nakanjia Viola for Peaceful English. Yeah. So, remember, we are talking about nouns, and we looked at the noun, the common nouns. I left you with an activity. I hope you did it. So today, we are looking at another kind. We said we have three. We have three. We have four of them. But at our level, we shall have to look at three. Now, after looking at the common nouns, we come and look at now the proper nouns. These proper nouns now come from the common nouns. Remember we said common nouns, these are names of general things, people and places. Now we come and say proper nouns, another kind of nouns. Now we say com proper nouns, these are names of specific or particular persons, places or things. These ones now come from the common, now, now these ones become particular. When you're talking about a person, now when you want to be specific on which person you are talking about, that's when you are going to bring in now the proper noun. When you're talking about the place, when you want to be sure now which exact place are you talking about, now here we come for proper nouns, even other things to be particular. Good. So, we are saying proper nouns begin with the capital letters. This is a command. It is a law. When you break it, you are imprisoned. Proper nouns begin with capital letters, which imprisonment dry mean. When you write a proper noun with a small letter, you are penalized. When you are answering a question and you answer, you write a proper noun with a small letter, that is a penalty. That's what I've called imprisonment. That's you are punished. That means proper nouns begin, must, whether at the beginning of the sentence, whether in the middle of the sentence, but begin with the capital letters. Now I want to look at examples of proper nouns. So we say examples, we say names of people. When you are writing names of people, for example, you want to write Nakanja, my, my name. It is, should begin with a capital letter. The moment you write my name with a small letter, that is an abuse. You have abused me. You have equaled me to a jerry can, to a benson, because those are now general things. When you want to mention my name or to write my name, you put it with a small letter, and I find it there, my dear. It will not be very good. So, names of people like Jane, Ali, mention yours, your mother's name, your friend's name, all those names, whether surname, whether Christian name, whether your, your petty names, they must begin with a capital letter because they are now proper nouns. When you say girls, they will come. But when you want to mention a girl and you say Jane, that is now a proper noun. When you say boys, they will come. But when you want to mention a boy, that particular boy, you will say, Ali, come here. That is now particular. You have to begin with a capital later. Then you come to names of countries. Countries like our own country, Uganda. When you want to write Uganda, the motherland, begin with a capital letter. When you want to write Kenya, begin with a capital letter. When you want to write America, begin with a capital letter. When you want to write England, begin with a capital letter. Because they are proper now. When you say countries, no one is going to penalize you because you are not specific. But now you want to be specific. Which, which country? Are you talking about which particular country are you talking about? You say, I come from Uganda. That is a country. It is going to be with a capital letter because it is a proper noun. Then we say names of cities. 
cities like our own Kampala. For me, when I begin, I begin with my own because I am a patriot. I know some of you will start saying, London, Dubai, what? You leave out your own. Some of you even forget that Kampala is a capital city of Uganda. You forget and you think London is the capital city. No. Kampala is the capital city. Now, when you want to write Kampala, it is a proper noun. Begin with a capital letter. Now, we come to names of lakes. In Uganda, you know Uganda is the part of Africa. It is very interesting. It has very good physical features. One of, we, one of them, those other lakes. We have very many of them. When you are writing these lakes, begin with capital letter. When you want to write Lake Choga, begin with capital L, lake, then Choga, capital. Lake Victoria, which is the biggest, which is shared by the three East African countries, it is Lake Victoria, begin with the capital letter. When you come to names of mountains, names of mountains like Mount Renzori, Mount Elgon, Mount Kenya, Mount Everves, begin with a capital letter. Why? Because it is a proper noun. Names of schools. Names of schools. When you say schools, that is a general name. Now, which particular school are you mentioning? For example, you mention and you say Kampala Quality Primary School. All those initials, Kampala, then quality, then primary, then school, must be in capital letters. I think you know even the neighboring schools. You know, for me, I only know one school. Eh? So, other schools, but when you want to mention a name of a particular school, you begin with a capital letter. Then you come to names of buildings. When you come, we have very many buildings with the names. When you go to town, you'll find the clock, towers, the clock tower, you'll find the Namaganda Plaza. Even at your home, they may name your home, your, your home and they put a, a name there on that building. It will be a proper noun. When you want to write that very building, you are writing it with a proper noun. That is a capital later. Days of the week. Days of the week. They are also proper nouns. You can, when you say days of the week, it is okay. But when you want to mention a day, when you want to say Tuesday, you have to say Tuesday with a capital letter, Monday with a capital letter, Friday with a capital letter. Days of the week are proper nouns. Months of the year. Months of the year are also proper nouns. When you want to mention March, I was born in the month of October. October, that is a proper noun. Begin it with a capital letter. We have very many. We have names of roads. Yes, they may name your road, the, road, the road going to your home. Eh? And they say Chisembo Road. Yes, they will write Chisembo Road. When you come to our very town of Kampala, they would say Nakaselo Road. Loom Street, even the streets are also proper nouns. So those are what that is. Those are what you call proper nouns. What you should put in your mind is that proper nouns begin with capital letters. Somebody who has understood it, I know now you are enjoying it very well. Don't put your friend friend's name in small. You will have abuse with that friend of yours. Good. So we come to another kind of nouns. Another kind of nouns now, these are the collective nouns. What are they? We are saying these are names given to groups of things or people of the same nature. These are things, these are names given to groups of things or people of the same nature. When you put them together, when they are the same nature, they have a collective name. We have very many collective nouns, but you're going to find that I'm going to mention a few of the a few of them, and then we shall see others as time goes on. 
So for example, a group of bees. When bees are in a group, we call it a swarm. A group of cattle. When we have it, we say a herd. A group of thieves. I don't think you, I don't I don't think anyone wants to be a thief. Is there anyone who wants to be a thief? No. Yeah. So group, but when those thieves are in a group, we call it a gang. A group of singers, when we collect the singers together and then they start singing for us, they put their good melodies. That is it, a choir. A group of soldiers, when these soldiers are very are in a group. Maybe they are walking. We call that one a troop. A group of stars. When you see those stars in the sky, we call it a galaxy. We have a group of people walking on the road, along the road. Those ones we shall call them pedestrians. When you find people sitting in, an, in a room watching a movie, watching a play, we call, those one, we call that one an audience. When you find people on the field, they are busy supporting, supporting the football match or the netball match, which I'll call, we shall call that one, those people, spectators. When you find people dancing very well, they are dancing in a group, we call that one a group of dancers, and that one is called a troupe. Now that spelling is different from this troupe here. We have very many of the corrective nouns. We shall see them one by one as time goes on. You know these days we don't want to delay so much. So we want to complete our nouns. This is, marks the end of our nouns. Thank you for listening to me. Stay safe.